Hi, welcome to one of a series of short reader's guide films from Plainfield Public Library's reference department. We hope you'll enjoy this reading guide for a subgenre of books. The following books are just a sample of what the library offers. You'll find a link to a printable PDF version of this guide in the description of this video. All the titles are available for free with your library card in a variety of formats. Please see the individual title listings for details. If any of the books interest you and you want to find out more, or if you have any other inquiries, you can speak with the librarian on 908 757 1111 extension 112 or email ref at plfdpl.info. If you want more time to read about a book on screen now as you watch, just hit pause. Now, please enjoy our reader's guide. We hope you find it useful. Legal Thrillers Legal thrillers usually involve various plots involving national or international political scenarios, business corruption, terrorism and warfare. They're all common themes. There is a strong overlap with the conspiracy thriller. Let's start with 13 by Steve Kavanaugh. This time the killer isn't on trial, he's on the jury. But there's someone on his tail. Former conman turned criminal defence attorney Eddie Flynn doesn't believe that his movie star client killed two people. He suspects that the real killer is closer than they think. But who would guess just how close? The Murder List by Hank Philippi Ryan A bright, hard-working law student married to a faithful and devoted husband discovers that everything she believes about her life is false and is caught up in a game of cat and mouse for her very survival. Final Judgment by Marsha Clark Breaking her personal rule about avoiding relationships when she falls for an ambitious entrepreneur, defence attorney Samantha Brinkman is challenged to prove her lover's innocence of murder when his alibi and past are thrown into question. This is the latest book, number four, in the Samantha Brinkman series. The Substitution Order by Martin Clark Kevin Moore a once a high-flying Virginia attorney hits rock bottom after an inexplicably tumultuous summer leaves him disbarred. He lands a job at a sandwich shop. When a bizarre, mysterious stranger wanders into the shop armed with a threatening invitation to join a multi-million dollar scam, Kevin will eat every bit of his legal savvy just to stay out of prison. James Gripando, The Big Lie when a corrupt president is narrowly re-elected by the Electoral College but not the popular vote, Miami attorney Jack Svitek is embroiled in a political frenzy involving an opponent's refusal to concede and a lobbyist's fateful decision. This is the latest book, number 16, in the Jack Svitek series. The Rooster Bar by John Grisham Three students who borrowed heavily to attend a third-rate law school realise they've been caught in a scam, when they discover that the school's owner also owns a bank specialising in student loans, and plot to expose the scam. Mississippi Blood by Greg Isles Grief-stricken and with this world collapsing around him, Penn Cage is shut out of trial preparations by his once-revered Southern Doctor father, who is about to be tried for murder in the wake of revelations about a multiracial child and KKK associations. This is the last book, number six, of the Pen Cage series, and the last book of the Natchez Burning Trilogy. A Good Marriage by Kimberly McCrate Begged for help by an old friend, an overworked lawyer investigates a suspicious death in a Brooklyn brownstone before she is confronted by a close-knit circle of parents who would protect an exclusive school. The Holdout by Graham Moore A lawyer is wrongly implicated in a murder one decade after convincing the members of a deadlocked jury to return a not guilty verdict. Say Nothing by Brad Parks When their children are abducted by a man who blackmails them to follow instructions at the risk of the children's lives, a judge and his wife endure a terrorising ordeal of no-holds-barred deceit and bond-breaking suspicions. Feared by Lisa Scottiline 
when nemesis Nick Machiavelli targets her family with frivolous legal claims and slander that escalate to an unthinkable tragedy. Mary D'Annunzio discovers her own unsettling capacity for dark retaliation. This is the latest book, number 17, in the Rosato and Associates series. The Last Trial by Scott Turo A brilliant octogenarian defence lawyer on the brink of retirement seeks to prove the innocence of a long-term friend, a former Nobel Prize winner who has been charged with murder. This is the latest book, number 11, in the Kindle County series. Anatomy of a Scandal by Sarah Vaughan Desperate to clear the name of her loving and charismatic public figure husband in the wake of scandalous accusations, Sophie clashes with a determined prosecution lawyer, Kate, who resolves to uncover the truth and bring Sophie's husband to justice. Daisy in Chains by Sharon Bolton Convicted serial killer Hamish Wolfe has proclaimed his innocence from the beginning and has solicited the help of lawyer Maggie Rose, who's known for her ability to get convictions overturned. The story unfolds in alternating chapters from the past to the present and keeps readers on the edge of their seats with a twist you won't see coming. The Reckoning by John Grisham Shortly after World War II, a decorated veteran, a genuine war hero, calmly and with malice aforethought, murders a Methodist preacher. He makes no effort to conceal the crime, and even after he's arrested and charged with homicide, he refuses to give anyone, even his lawyer, an explanation. His family is distraught, and the murders man's family is grief-stricken. The Rule of Law by John LeCroix Attorney Demas Hardy finds himself in the unlikely position of having to defend his faithful long-time assistant, Phyllis, from being charged as an accessory to murder at the same time her brother is released from prison. This is the latest book, number 18, in the Demas Hardy series. Barely Legal by Stuart Woods Herbie Fisher has turned his life around, from bumbling burglar to high-class lawyer thanks to hard work, a $30 million lottery payout, and his mentor, Stone Barrington. This is the first book of the Herbie Fisher series. In My Dark Dreams by J.F. Friedman Jessica Thompson is a public defender in Los Angeles. Roberto Salazar is an unusual client, a kind, mild-mannered man with a clean record who's been accused of trafficking stolen goods. Jessica is happy to get this church-going gardener acquitted, but she's shocked when he's accused of murder. Question of Consent by Seymour Wishman The victim of a rape, Lisa Altman, is sitting at a different table. Her rapist has been savagely murdered, and she's accused of the heinous crime. Condemned by the evidence and with nowhere else to turn, the young actress needs the best legal help she can find. Addiction on Trial by Steve Cavanaugh When Down East local Annette Fionlo is found at the bottom of a ravine, outsider and relapsed drug addict Jimmy Sedgwick, Sedgwick is accused of murder. Unassuming main lawyer Rob Hanston and big shot attorney Sean Marks form an unlikely legal team as they attempt to discredit the overwhelming ed evidence. Addiction on Trial is the first in a series of Sean Marks thrillers. Jane's Bay by Chris Bauer A religious rights splinter group has learned the identity of the anonymous Roe vs Wade baby. To what end, only a new Supreme Court case will reveal. Only Tourette's afflicted bounty hunter Judge Drury stands in the way of the splinter group's attempt at stacking the Supreme Court via blackmail, murder, arson, sleight of hand and secret identities. Suspicion of Innocence by Barbara Parker Gail Connor is a fast-rising attorney in a major South Florida law firm, about to make partner, until her life is derailed by the discovery of her sister's body in the Everglades. What at first appears to be a suicide soon becomes a homicide investigation with Gail as the prime suspect. This is book number one of the Gail Connor and Anthony Quintana series. The Hanging Judge 
by Michael Ponser. Presiding over the first death penalty case in decades, Federal Judge David Norcross must act as referee between the prosecution and defence and face community outrage, media pressure and vengeful gang members threatening the trial. This is book number one of the Judge Norcross series. <laughs>